Happy Father's wow. Day! Thank you! Wow, so sexy! Oh, <laughs> Good morning, guys. It's 9.51 and happy Father's Day. I know I said it yesterday, but today is really Father's Day. I am sorry. Hi, Gorda. You say hi to friends. You say I'm wearing such a pretty dress today. I'll have to show you when I get out of the car. Yeah, you're so pretty. What's wrong? Oh. Monday. What is that? Is that a motorcycle in front of us? Wow. What is it? Mama, mama. Okay. Quite here, this. You want round and round? No, here. Hey, Moana. You want Moana? By the way, we got yeah, yeah, yeah. some Starbies that we're trying to hide from Alondra because she's no, going to want it. No, no, <clears throat> what did you get, babe? You got a tea? Well, uh, very, very no, biscuits. Papa, refresher. No, yeah, yeah. Oh, and I got a Java chip eh, mocha. Eh, 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 I have a double eh, eh. espresso Papa, shot. Eh, eh. You put a double espresso no. shot? No, you can't put it on the tea. I already had one. Oh. No, eh, eh, Papa. What's the problem here? Mama. Daddy's doing it, baby. Don't yell at him. It's Daddy's day. You can't be mean. No. Be patient, please. No, 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 no. Uh-oh. And five minutes later, she is out. So, I don't think I got to say where we were headed. Alondra was having a tiny little meltdown, but she's out, as you saw. So, sometimes when she's really tired, she has those, like, meltdowns, so to speak, but I mean, it doesn't last long. So anyways, huh? She woke up at 6. Yeah, she woke me up at 6.10 in the morning, so I was like, oh, of course, I got a day off hoping to sleep in, and no, 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 no. But, um, so anyways, we are on our way to the Crack Shack, which if you don't know, that is a Richard Blaze restaurant, and it's right next to Juniper and Ivy. Whoa. And we've been to Juniper and Ivy two times now? Twice. The first time we didn't, no, we weren't vlogging then. Um, but the second time we went was for our very first date night in, was that our first date night in Cal back in California? Which we need to have another date night. We haven't had a date night since this month. But anyways, so if you saw that vlog, you would have seen us eat all the food. And it was funny, I, I saw a couple of comments saying like we were pretty brave in our eating choices because Juniper and Ivy, I will say, is not like a typical restaurant. It's not a restaurant for everybody. It's very modern, it's very different, and it's different types of food. So it's, yeah, it's not like your typical restaurant that's for everybody. It's really different, but I think it's an awesome experience. And the food is delicious. It is a little weird, it's a little bit daring, I guess. I, I mean, but I don't know, I love it. I personally love Richard Blaze. I'm a big Richard Blaze fan. Ever since meeting him though I became such like a more Richard Blaze fan I mean I had loved him since you know Top Chef and that was like so long ago and that's how I originally heard of him and he was always been my favorite since Top Chef and now he's just like completely blown up um, I feel like he's everywhere now but anyway so yeah and then Juniper Ivy in the Crack Shack his restaurants are actually in Little Italy which is right by the airport um, so that's where we're going and we're almost here actually we're exiting right now so I'm really excited. The Crack Shack is kind of like a breakfast restaurant, but I guess. It's like an all day brunch, but they also have like yeah. fried chicken. And so because they say that it's like they serve eggs and chicken all day. So it's kind of like an egg and chicken joint, which eggs have been a little if for me lately. So we'll see how I do. But I feel like since last week, I don't really have food aversions. Like smells aren't really bothering me anymore, which is nice. Um, but it's just, I haven't really been like, craving anything and plus I was really sick last week and when I'm sick I don't want to eat in general so I don't know we'll see how I do I'm really excited to try it um and yeah and of course Alondra just fell asleep I was thinking we'd have a little bit longer of a drive and she would sleep a little bit longer so hopefully it's not gonna be too bad waking her up but anyways we need to park and head over so of course I will vlog once we get there
Ooh, look at that line. We had no line when we got there. But that's basically what it looks like and you're sitting all outside. Thank God it was a nice, beautiful day. That's and then, Juniper. yep, that's Juniper and Ivy. So we are leaving the Crack Shack and it was actually really good. The chicken was super juicy. My sandwich was good, but I don't know. I feel kind of like, did I say this earlier about the coffee? I feel like slightly out of it. I don't know if because Alondra woke up so early or maybe because once we woke up, I was like laying down for like an hour. But like as soon as I like sat up, I was like, whoa, I don't know how to explain how I was feeling. I was just feeling kind of out of it. My head wasn't hurting, but like, I don't know, it was kind of bothering me. I don't know how to explain it. So I was like, well, I'll just take a shower. Maybe it'll make me feel better. No. And then I got the coffee. It's not like a, it's a Java chip, so it, it's like a frozen frappuccino, but it has coffee in it. And I haven't had coffee. I can't remember the last time I, I had coffee. And like, since practically I found out that I was pregnant because I was having coffee aversions, the smell, just everything was grossing me out. I couldn't even kiss Edom if he had coffee. He's like, I'm like, you have to brush your teeth because the smell like grossed me out. Um, <clears throat> which we just walked by like a coffee shop and the smell was a little too strong for me, but it is a coffee shop. But anyways, I was like, okay, well if I get that Java Frappuccino, which is one of my favorites um, from Starbucks, I was like, it doesn't smell like coffee, it doesn't taste like coffee. Um, maybe it'll like wake me up or zhuzh me up, but oh, it didn't typically. All oh, that is our 7-Eleven. That one and the one right by the house. Yeah. So it didn't really like do the trick, but I don't know, I wasn't feeling like crazy hungry. So I only ate maybe a quarter of my sandwich, but it was really good. We took it to go. Alondra woke up, of course, as soon as our food came. So we had to order her uh, a kid's meal, which was really good. It was $7 for three tenders, like big tenders, fries, a big cookie, Huge. massive chocolate chip cookie, and then a juice box. So I thought it was a really great deal. I was like, can I have the kid's meal? Um, Cause my meal, it's not like a meal, it's just a sandwich. I thought it would come with fries, but it didn't. Um, I mean, I know you ordered your salad on the side, but I thought, salad I thought, I just assumed the sandwich would come with fries. So it was good, but honestly, for like 9.30 in the morning, or by the time we got there, like 9.45 in the morning, it was kind of like a little too early, too heavy for like fried, fried chicken, but it was really good. I was kind of hoping they would have like chicken and waffles or something like that. You know what I mean? A little bit more breakfasty type food with the chicken. Um, so the menu choice, Edom and I were saying, we were a tiny bit disappointed with the menu because we were hoping more options. more options. It wasn't really a ton. And I thought like maybe for being so early in the morning, they would, they would have a little bit more like breakfast type. And since they call it a brunch place. Yeah, they call it a brunch place. To me, it wasn't really like brunch. It was super heavy, but. It's more like a lunch part place. I would say it was, it's more lunch dinner. So I wouldn't want to go back again this early in the morning but it was good it was really good I loved the atmosphere I loved the vibe it was a beautiful day oh, they have that little like yard uh, yawn yard lawn so, yeah synthetic synthetic turf area it was really cute you could play the what's that game where you toss the bean bags into the little hole it's called bean bags <laughs> oh um, really cute for the kids and stuff um, so, I don't know, it's a really nice family friendly environment. I really liked it. They had a bar too, you know, had a Bloody Mary that you guys saw. So, I really liked it. I just wish there was a little bit more of a menu choice. Um, and I wish I was a little bit more hungry, but the sandwich was super flavorful um, and really good. If I got the Senor Croquet sandwich and then he just got the fried chicken with a side wedge salad. Salad was delicious. And then Yolanda got a um, kid's meal. So, anyways. So far, so good. And it's only 11.30 and we still have the rest of the day ahead of us. So I don't know what we're gonna do. We were just saying that we wish we could go to like this like front water park area. It's like literally right down the street from where we were practically. But because Alondra's sick and I didn't bring a bathing suit anyways for her. <clears throat> you know, like, I mean, we don't want to do that. Wow, it's really white guys, sorry. Um, but yeah, we're like, it's probably not the best idea right now for that, but I've been dying to take her because she loved it when we went um, Sorry. Last time. It's okay, babe. We went to Coronado. <laughs> oh, we're going to go on Coronado Bridge? Oh. But. The, the quick turnover. But, all right, yeah. So, I guess we'll see you. We don't really know where we're going. Alondra doesn't want to go home. She wants to play. She was wanting to play on that little, like, area. <laughs> so, here's Coronado Bridge. I don't know if you guys can see it. Not anymore. Kind of over these trees. There you go, there's the bridge. So we're gonna go over the bridge, guys.
That is cute. That's what happens when you take a nap with mascara on. <laughs> so it's several, and I mean several hours later since I've checked in. It's 6.30, you guys. Um, and the last time I checked in is when we were leaving Crack Shack. So it's definitely several hours later. I took, what time? How long of a nap did I take? Like a two hour nap. It felt good. I woke up like 30 minutes ago actually. Um, Alondra and I both took a nap together. It's so freaking hot in this house, you guys. Ugh. So anyways, um, when we got home, we like hung out at the house for like an hour or so. And then we left to go to Plaza Bonita Mall. And um, Edom was looking for like uh, like a dressy outfit. But we think um, he still has like dressy slacks. We just have to like look in the closet. Um, it's like so hard because some stuff we probably still left packed. But he did buy like a nice shirt. And then we just went walking around the mall. Victoria's Secret was having the semi-annual sale. And I just happened to go in there just to see if they had anything. They didn't have anything. Um, and yeah, we just kind of like walked the mall a little bit. And then I got Wetzel's pretzels. So good. I love cinnamon pretzels. I don't like hard pretzels. I like really soft cinnamon pretzels, like the one at Sam's Club. So good. Um, but I wish I had Ani Ann's. I think Ani Ann's is better than Wetzel pretzels. I don't know if Ani Ann's is like an East Coast thing, because I feel like I don't ever see Ani Ann's out here in California. But there was Ani Ann's in Minnesota um, at the uh, Mall of America. I was so happy whenever there's Ani Ann's. Um, but yeah, so we went to Ani, or Ani Ann's, we went to Wetzel Pretzel and came home and that was it. I was still like feeling like really out of it. I was like, I don't know, it's not with me. I just feel really out of it. So then I took a nap <laughs> and I didn't think I was gonna take that long a nap. But yeah, I don't know what we're gonna do. His parents are up north. Um, well, not like north, like San Francisco, but like an hour, maybe two hours away. Um, they went to like a graduation party, I think, Edam said. But yeah, so I don't really know what we're gonna do, but I just wanted to check in since I haven't in a while. I was going to vlog at the mall. I had my camera with me, but I felt kind of like out of it and we didn't really like do any, I don't know, there just wasn't a lot of stuff to vlog or anything like that, so. Um. But yeah, that's about it. So, anyways, I guess I should edit the vlog and get it up from yesterday. Oh, your glasses? Let me see. Did Daddy go get them out of the car for you? Oh, he's so nice. Men, vente. Ay, que bonita estas. I actually uploaded a picture of her on Instagram wearing those glasses. And seriously, she looks like such a little doll. And this is her new dress. Woo! So cute. That is the dress that I got at Old Navy. But I actually never filmed an Old Navy haul. And I still have all of the clothes brand new in the bag. Hi, baby! But I told you, Dom, oh, get that dress out because it's so cute for today. So... I guess I'm not going to do a haul on it, so I probably should just show the clothes that I got. And it's so cute how she puts the glasses on her head now. And I'm wearing, and oh, by the way, these shoes I got at Target recently, and they are the softest shoes. Oh my God, like the sandals, they are so, the straps, soft and comfortable. I really, really love these. I got them at Target maybe a couple weeks ago, three weeks ago probably, so check them out. I think they're, I don't know the brand. But, and I also got this dress at Target, which I hauled. Oh, you're not going to be able to see with the fan. What? Oh, I'm going to show them my, my dress. Oh, I was just going to go use the mirror over there. But thank you. So this, don't look at my white legs, although obviously I'm pointing them out. Um, so this was just that um, t-shirt dress that I got at Target on clearance that I really loved. It was only $7, I think. I showed you guys. When did we go to Target? I don't know, whenever I went to Chick-fil-A and Target with um, Maricela and Josie, yeah. But I really like it, and the back is really cute too because the back has kind of like a crisscross opening. I don't know, I did haul it, but I've really been into t-shirt dresses because I got two at Old Navy as well. And yeah, and I think it's like really good, you know, when you're pregnant and also because it's hot. I feel like you can't really see like a baby bump right now, but there's kind of a little bit of something going on, which, yay. 
But yeah, so that's what I'm wearing. And I really love this color, this wine color. It's probably more like of a fall type color. Not so much summer, but I like it. Oh. It could be summer, spring, fall, winter color. Oh, thank you, sir. This is why I keep them around, guys. <laughs> you say hi? Hi. <laughs> oh, hi. Say hola muchachos. Hi. Oh, are those your pretty pyjamas? Hi. <laughs> oh my god. Are you okay? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I got that. That's why you shouldn't stand on the bed. That's what happened to the monkeys when they jumped on the bed. What happened? Ay -ay. Yeah, they fell off and bumped the heads. Ay -ay. Ay -ay -ay. So I'm gonna go ahead and say goodnight to you guys. We're just watching The Gladiator, which I've never watched. And it's like at the end, so I am going to go to bed. Mama, mama, I am tired. Mama, mama, mama. And I'm getting distracted because I'm like, what just happened? What did I just I miss? But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and say goodnight. So I hope you guys did enjoy today's vlog. I hope you guys had a happy Father's Day and had a great day. Um, oh, I got it on a cologne. What is it called? Bulgari? Yeah. A Bulgari cologne that he's been really wanting. Wow. So, uh-oh. Uh what just happened? Sorry, I'm getting distracted. So I'm gonna go quickly. So no question of the day. Um, and yeah, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Jeez, he's like slapping the crap out of him. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Go to the home. Let me say goodnight to friends. And then close your thumbs up. Go no, there. hasta. Go your thumb. Where's your thumb? We're trying to teach her to do the real thumbs up with her thumb. Do your thumb, gorda. This one. Yep. So say, please thumbs up. Say, don't forget to subscribe. Say, subscribe, gorda. Say, subscribe. Uh-huh. And say, we'll see you tomorrow. Say, bye, muchachos. Bye, muchachos. Good job.